um, basically just um, start from where you guys, okay, so you guys were there at the fairgrounds. Um, and around what time did the collapse happen? I mean, I'm sure at first you weren't really sure what was going on. So I guess, what did you hear? What did you see? Um, and then finally, like, realize the extent of what was going on. Right. So we were there sitting in the other bleachers um, and we were watching the rodeo. And all of a sudden, you know, we hear this loud, like, bang. And then um, you just see these people are just like falling down. Um, so my fiance runs over there as quickly as he can. You know, he just went into, you want to tell my, how you went into? Yeah, I'm a veteran. So it was just like muscle memory. So I just ran over there and uh, <clears throat> the, the two beams were kind of like down on the side like this. And uh, so me and a bunch of other guys, we got under there and we were lifting it up you know, why they're pulling people out and just getting people out to make sure everyone was out of the rubble. Right. Everybody just kind of like, you know, it. considering how crazy and fast it happened, everybody was very calm and collective and, and just they knew like exactly what they had to do to keep it up. Um, because even at one point, somebody, some people were trying to go up on the bleachers to help pull people, I guess, from the top. And you could hear it almost like it was going to fall even more. So everybody started saying, get off, get off the bleachers, everybody get off the bleachers. And so, you know, a lot of the men just ran underneath the bleachers, you know, probably good 30, 35 men are just up there, you know, all just holding the bleachers up until first responders come. Um, you know, and, and some people were able to get up and walk away. Some people had to, you know, get checked out by the ambulance and some people were treated and, and transported to the hospital as well. So uh, we hadn't been notified on what the update of their injuries are, but um, we know there was no fatality. So, you know, thank God of that. Yes, yes, of course. What was going on at that time? Were you uh, watching a performance or what kind of um, show was going on at that point? Right, so they were doing the the bron yeah, right. the Bronco rides, yeah, it was the Bronco ride, mm -hmm. and one had just stopped, and so the another one was about to come out, and then you hear this loud bang, um, and it was the like the whole top, um, just kind of went, you know, collapsed. Wow, yeah, that's what my next question I was going to ask you because I kind of saw pictures from other people as well, so I was trying to figure out if it was like a part of the stands or uh, they also have like boxes. And so somebody was saying it was like a box. So, um, but it was like a riser of stands, correct? And I correct. guess the very top part. Yes. Okay. How many rows do you think that would have included or? I think what I counted, it was like three or four. <clears throat> and um, at that point, the people that you could see were they kind of squished under some of those uh risers that had fallen so i didn't see that part i saw someone stuck like if it was on their legs and that's why we we're like trying to lift up you know and they're they're pulling them out uh, from the top right a lot of people were able to get out but there was either one or, or two maybe two more people that were still stuck under there we know one for sure um but we just didn't want to let they just didn't want to let go until first responders got there and kind of, you know, were able to look at the situation to see what else, what needed to be done, you know, but everybody, you know, went into, you know, hero mode and there was, wasn't real crazy under there once all the men got under there and there was like one, maybe two people directing everybody like, just do this, like hold it up um, until, you know, like I said, first responders got there and even when they got there, we, they still didn't let go. Um, until first responders, you know, assess the situation and then finally said, okay, everybody go ahead and move out of the way. Um, and then they took over from there and then everybody had to leave. Well, that's really amazing because I'm sure that helped out a lot um, for the people, especially that were on those stands and had fallen. And um, I'm not sure if they were yelling out for help or saying anything at the time. I'm sure you guys were like, we're, we're going to help you. Um, you know, did you hear any cries for help or anything during that situation? I, I believe right when it first happened, you yeah. know, there, there's a lot of screams. 
there was. It was it was pretty chaotic for about mm-hmm. a minute, I, I would say. And as soon as it collapsed, you know, like you have all the spectators, everyone was running over there as well. So it was just chaos for a little bit. And then, uh, uh, like she said, once we got over there, you know, and you're actually under there, it was kind of quiet because like someone was just kind of taking control, you know, stepping it up and like, hey, lift right here, you know, let's get this guy out, you know. Yeah, how do you, I mean, um, obviously, I, th- I think the really um, good moment out of all of this is seeing how people came together, um, you know, because people could have ran for their own safety, right? But there were a group of people that, that went in there. What made you kind of, you know, run and, and go in there to try and help? Like I said, it was just like muscle memory. I'm a veteran. You know, it's just it's the right thing to do. And, and uh, uh, I'm just that kind of person. That's awesome. So, so very grateful that you were there along with everybody else because that's um, that's incredible. Um, again, when you got there, kind of uh, walk through the steps with us of like, you got there, did someone say, hey, lift here? Or did you have to say, hey, let's lift this? Kind of walk through how everything played out during the, you know, I know it was probably fast. Yeah, we were on the other stands. So uh, we ran over there. And as soon as I got there, you know, there's probably like six or se- six or seven guys under there lifting up. And they're like, hey, man, lift right here. And I just got under there and started lifting up on one of the bleachers, you know, and, and we're just kind of under there for about 10 minutes. Yeah, it seems long. Holding on to it. Yeah, it was pretty long. <laughs> yeah, because like you said, they were still holding up even when first responders got there. And first responders immediately went up the stairs to look down to see what they could see um and they started throwing things down like chairs or something i I don't know why they were doing that but then after they were able to you know see what was going on that that's when they started asking everybody to leave so it was more though like someone just kind of took charge and i just kind of found a place and just helped out where i could right that's awesome and uh you said at that point when you were lifting it's because you could see at least one person did it, it seem like the uh bleacher was on them or kind of how did they look so it was like if his legs were caught in between the bleachers you know because they all collapsed down and i know at one point we were lifting it up so we can get the guy like it was like on his uh his upper thighs you know so he can kind of crawl out do so. you think he was uh you know pretty okay um Oh, I, I mean, I'm sure he was talking or was he, uh, you know, passed out at, the, no, at that point? He was trying to be calm. Yeah. 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 Well, that's so awesome. Um, and uh, how long did it take for first responders to get there? Um, and when they did, um, I think I saw like pictures and stuff. It looked like a large um, surge of first responders, everybody coming together. Um so was it uh, about 10 minutes or so? Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Because it's um, probably hard to get to, right? I mean, you're at an event, there's hundreds of people or were there thousands? Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah, so it was huge. I'm sure, you know, they had to find out exactly where it was. Right. Yeah. Anything else that you uh, want to mention? We just thought it was really amazing how everybody came together. Stepped it up. Stepped it up. I mean, everybody could have freaked out. Just how today's world is. You hear a big bang, like, people just want to take off sometimes. You don't you know, know what to expect. Don't to expect, right? So, you know, I commend everybody that was there and helped and how everybody stayed calm and worked together just to alleviate, you know, the catastrophic you know, issue that was going on until we got further direction from, you know, first responders or, you know, that the men did. There was a lot of men down there helping out. Yes, no, that that is really incredible. And again, I really appreciate you helping out, both of you, um, you know, going over there and um, jumping in where you could. And so, I mean, that's really, really amazing. So we will definitely shine a light on all the people um, that you know went over there to help um what branch of the military are you i was in the army oh okay okay awesome well thank you for your service and thank you guys again